This video is a step-by-step -step guide to fine-tune a model on audio data. You can use the steps which we are going to use on any audio model to fine-tune it on your own audio data set. We will be using a free audio data set from Hugging Face plus the model which I am going to use is the quintessential Whisper model. Whisper models use self-supervised learning to recognize and transcribe spoken languages. There are various tasks these models can perform and you can check it out in its model card which I will drop the link in the video's description. A data set which I am going to use is again this Common Voice 13 but as long as you have your audio data plus its transcription you can use your own audio files. I would suggest you put them in the WAV format. So as long as you have these two things you are all good to go to start the fine tuning of an audio model or the whisper model. I will be using my local system to get this done. You can use the same commands on any Colab. You can even use Google Colab's T4, but you would have to be a bit patient there because it will take three to four hours over there. I will be using the VM sponsored by Mast Compute and also the GPU provided by them. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website plus a coupon code of 50% discount on an already affordable pricing, highly recommended. So let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Also, I will be using Konda environment in order to get everything installed nice and separate. I already have created the Konda environment. So if you don't know what Konda is, how to install it, I would highly suggest that you watch a few of my videos as what exactly and how exactly Conda works. So this is how you install uh, or create a Conda environment. I'm just calling it audio. I already have created it just to save time. So let me activate the audio Conda environment. And that is done. You can see it in the parenthesis. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's install some of the prerequisites. And these are all the prerequisites which I am going to install, which include PyTosh, Transformers, and then some of the uh, sound file, Hugging Face Hub, and all that stuff. I already have installed them just to save some time, so I'm not going to do it again. But, and I will drop all the command which I'm using in my blog and drop the link to it in video description. So don't worry about copy pasting all of these commands. Okay, so everything is installed now. Another thing I would highly suggest and that is required too because we will be creating a new fine tune model on our audio data set and the language which I am going to use for it is Urdu. Urdu is a national language of Pakistan and in my opinion one of the beautiful languages of the world especially when it comes to poetry. So I will be uh, fine tuning this whisper model on Urdu audio data files and you can use any language of your choice because the data set which I'm going to put supports 100 plus languages, which include a lot of languages out there. And even if your language is not in that data set, still you should be able to use it any similar and closer language. Okay, so that is done. Now go to Hugging Face and also grab a token from there, which is also free. You would need to sign up there if you don't know how to do it. Again, please cite the channel. It's very easy. Sign up at huggingface.co, log in, go to your profile in settings and grab the right token so that you could write there. Okay, and so that is done. Let me launch my Python interpreter. Now here, first up, let's log into Hugging Face. In order to log into Hugging Face, all you need to do is to just import this HF folder and then you need to specify your Hugging face token in the codes. Let me specify the token and clear the screen. Screen is clear. I have set up my hugging face token. Let's import the data set library from here because we need to download the data set. I'm going to initialize the data set as a dictionary. That is done. And let's grab the data set, which is called as common voice, which I showed you. And then whenever we are doing the fine tuning of a model, we always divide the data set into training and test data set 
training is to train it or fine tune it and test it to test if it works fine so you see that i have split it in both training and well testing also if you notice here in com this command i have given it this data set and then this is the code of the language which i'm using so i'm using urdu language so that is why i have put in ur for urdu you just put um whatever you are using as a language for example for english you use en for i think for uh, german you use de something like that okay so that is done and let me also quickly show you how this data set that looks like when i print it so there you go so it's it has this is a data set training it has client id path the audio file this is a transcript transcription in whatever language we are using and then rest of the stuff we don't need other stuff if you have your own data set make sure it has these two columns audio which is a wave file or audio file and it is a text of that audio file or the transcription okay so that is done so that is why i'm just going to select these two columns because that is all we need you see i'm just calling it audio and sentence let me press enter and that is done okay so next up let's grab the whisper processor and i will shortly describe what exactly whisper processor is let me first create that processor so this is how we create it so when we create a processor we give it two things one is model and the other is which language and task we are using now what happens here is that whenever you are fine tuning such models which are audio ones there are three stages into it first there is a feature extractor which pre-processes the raw audio input which in our case this audio input the pre-processor processes it that is that component is called as feature extractor and then we have the model which is this one base model and then we have the tokenizer that post processes the predicted tokens now this processor makes it easier so these two objects feature extractor and the tokenizer are bundled into this processor so that we don't have to worry about them separately all we do we so this processor takes care of feature extractor and tokenizer whereas we only specify our model so we have down to two components processor and model so as you can see that we have also initialized our processor with the model next you can check out the features so if i just do this you see it is showing us that this the features of this audio files in the training data set is that it has sampling rate of 48k hertz now whisper model only supports 16k hertz and most of the audio models support uh, 16k hertz so we need to sample down or cast down this 48k to 16k hertz that is also quite simple i will quickly show you what exactly the sampling rate of the audio is in this way we have just stored that sampling rate here 48k here and now cast it down uh, we are just specifying the casting column which is our audio okay so we need to define the audio sorry i forgot to import that library which is this and now let's run it again now it's better okay so let's also define a function so let me clear the screen here it will be easier i'm defining this function which is just taking an uh, example audio file and data and then it is just uh, getting the processor to check out the sampling rate okay now once that's done let's also use the map function for the common voice data set to see which column we need to keep and which we which column we are removing so as you remember we are just keeping two columns audio and sentence and that is what we are doing here with the map function and we are removing rest of the columns so let's wait for it to finish you see that there is an eta of um around a minute or so but the speed is quite good because my gpu is 48 gpu of vram so this should be finished fairly quickly let's wait for it to finish and that is almost done as you can see that it is there are over 7000 samples 
of the audio and then it is also going to do the mapping for the other one it don't take too long now and that is all done so our data set is ready let's specify the input length of our audio sample to 30 seconds we don't want to go above it just to keep everything nice simple and short and then it will be a bit performant too let's define a small function to check the audio's length that is done and now let's filter the data set with the audio length so this is just a common python function which is just filtering it out and i don't think so it removed anything there that is fine uh, okay so let's now specify our class to or our data class to set the features and that sort of stuff and i will show you what is happening let me import this let me clear the screen and let me paste a class here and i will show you uh, explain to you what exactly is happening so we have defined this data class or which is for collator and this collator is related to the sequence to sequence model which is whisper a sequence to sequence model is a type of model that transforms an input sequence into an output sequence using an encoder to process the input sequence and a decoder to generate the output sequence in our case we'll be using the uh, asr or automatic speech recognition now if you look at this class this is a data collator class and we are using it to treat the input feature and labels independently the input features must be handled by the feature extractor and the labels by the tokenizer and the input features are already padded to 30 seconds and converted to a uh, log mel spectrogram of fixed dimension so all we have to do is to convert them to bashed pytosh tensor and we are using it with the return tensor is equal to pt as you can see here other than that the labels are unpadded so first we are padding the sequence to the maximum length in the batch using the tokenizer's pad method and then the padding tokens are replaced by minus 100 so that these tokens are not taken into account when computing the loss and you don't have to worry too much about this let's initialize the data collator because this um, class will be same as in any of the methods there so you can just use it or reuse it okay so data collator is initialized let's also define our metric for the evaluation i'm just using importing the evaluate and then i am using this wer metric now wer metric stands for word error rate and this just evaluates and it ex it is quite common metric which is even you can call it a de facto metric for assessing these automatic speech recognition systems okay so we already have defined our wer metric let's also get a normalizer this is our normalizer let's initialize it this is for the metric calculation you don't have to do it but it's always a good practice to use this normalizer with this metric so i'm just defining this again don't worry about too much this is just a very standard function which is just calculating uh, the metric and after computing and calculating it giving it the prediction as how much accurate the data is okay so let's also get the whisper library from the transformers let's define our model which we already saw that it is whisper small that is done and let's grab some of the libraries and we are going to ask the model to generate the urdu language task so you see that we already have given the language as urdu task is transcribe and there are various other tasks you you can even classify the videos you can do segmentation various other things which you can do with it okay so now let's get sequence to sequence training arguments because this is a sequence to sequence model and let me give it some of the training parameters let me clear the screen so that we will be able to see these parameters clearly these are the training parameters so if you look at it we are specifying that what would be the learning rate um, and well what will be the maximum steps gradient checkpointing and then various other evaluation steps epoch and that sort of stuff and this is where we are going to save the checkpoints of the resultant model 
and the name which I'm calling it is Whisper Small Ur or Urdu. You can give it any name of your choice. Okay, so we have to find the parameters. Let's also get the sequence to sequence trainer and then let's initialize our trainer with the help of the configuration which we have given above. And then all you need to do is to start the training. Let me clear the screen and then I will start the training. Let me press enter and then you will see that training is going to start here. You can ignore these warnings. These are just usual warnings because these things are so new, keep changing. And now what this is going to show you is that um, what would be the loss, training loss, and it will of course come down as we progress through it. Plus it is also showing us the ETA, which at the moment is just around 16 minutes. So let it run and then I will get back in 15 to 16 minutes when it finishes. Also, it depends upon GPU. If you are using more beefy GPU, it is going to take lesser time. If you are using the same instructions in Google Colab, it is going to take around two to three hours in my experience. So be patient with it. And uh, also, if you can increase the learning rate, you can also increase a lot of other things you can do to speed it up or to make training more and more performant. So let's wait for it to uh, progress and then we will check back fine tuning is almost done as you can see only 10 seconds or so are left the interesting bit is that if you look at the loss it has come down a lot from 2.77 to now just 0.37 also we see that we have some grad norm there and grad norm refers to the norm or magnitude or length of the gradient factor during the training the gradient vector is a measure of how much each model's parameter contributes to the loss function and it is used to update the parameter during back propagation or the learning and you see the learning rate is what we specified earlier and this is a pouch one so again now it is making another pause so let's wait for it to finish again still around nine minutes eight minutes or so are left so you see that even with my 48 gb of vram gpu it is taken around 26 to um, around 25 to 30 minutes so let's wait for it to finish validation is almost done too should be any second that it will finish and that is the last step in our fine tuning and meanwhile that happens let me take you to the same system and in another terminal window and i will show you how that looks like so as you remember we saved it in this directory the model whisper small ur and these are the runs and then once and sh shortly this folder is going to be populated with the model files you can even check this one to the runs and it will have a lot of other stuff so let's wait for the other one to finish it is saving the models checkpoint and the other stuff in that directory and the fine tuning is eventually done in total it took just close to half an hour 30 minutes as you can see 28 minutes here with one epoch and all that stuff there was a train loss and there are some other parameters and the metadata about our fine tuning process if i take you to the other window and then we try to do the ls with this one and there you go so these are all the tensors the checkpoints and config of the model of the new model which we have fine-tuned okay so let's go back and let's clear the screen now let's try to test it out first i'm just going to import some of the libraries here and then i'm going to load a data set on which i will test our new model so this is a common voice data set which I have loaded. Let me clear the screen. And then let me show you what exactly the existing data set looks like. So you see, um, this is an Urdu sentence in that one because we have fine-tuned our model on Urdu. What we will be doing it that this data set which I just downloaded consists of an audio file and its transcription. And this is the existing transcription. So we will ask our new model to 
to process the audio file in this data set and we will be hoping that it will generate the same transcription as this one so let's see so first i'm going to import the pipeline from hugging face and then i am going to load my local model which we have just created hopefully i've given it the right so here i'm just asking it to do automatic speech recognition in the audio file and then i'm giving it the local model that is done and now let me give it the audio file to transcribe and i'll print it it is transcribing the audio files and there you go so you see um, even if you don't know urdu you can just match this with this and it's the same sentence in your urdu it is saying kabhi kabhar hi khayali pilao banata hu so both are identical so it means that our new model which has been fine tuned on urdu has very correctly transcribed our audio file so this is how you can just use this audio model or asr or automatic speech recognition in any language and then if you are and uh, it's not necessary to do it for automatic speech recognition you can do it for any other task you like and there are heaps of use cases which you can think of sky is the limit here so that's it guys as i mentioned earlier i'm going to drop the link to this model plus i'm also going to put all the code which i have used in my blog and i will drop the link to it in video's description and finally let me also take you to my hugging face space i'm already logged in so this is i'm already logged in here so if i just scroll down on my hugging face page this is a new model which was just uploaded 3 minutes ago and this is the name whisper small urdu so if you want you can simply go and check out my model which i just fine tuned on urdu from here and you can use a similar way which i use but instead of using that dot slash local folder name you can simply give my repo name and the model's name there and you should be able to use it in your pipeline easily now if you remember i told you you need also the token so just as a bonus let me show you how to get the token top right click on your profile picture go to settings on the left hand side click on access token and these are the tokens because i have written uh, the token model here to hacking page so that is why you need the right token for that click on new token and get your right token from here okay so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot and if you want to support the channel then go to the channel and there is you can buy me a coffee to support the channel you can become a patron up to you however you want to support if nothing else at least please subscribe and share the channel thanks a lot for watching enjoy